go back or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Aisha and hello so you guys will see it's looking a little bit different here we have finally settled ourselves into my parents house into my what is my new room slash my old room <laughs> and yeah so there's a lot going on in this house my dad works from home my sister is studying for A levels at the moment from home people come in and out constantly there's constant noise but I think I found a little quiet hour to sit down with you guys, have a little chat and have a good old organise of my collection, specifically my Bath and Body Works collection because it's looking a bit crazy. So I did manage to move it all quite well. We didn't have too many spills or leakages or losses, <laughs> but it's now time to organise so that I can actually grab my collection and see what I want to use up, see what's going to be rolled into my project for May and June and the summer and what I can kind of just give to my family and say, hey guys, just, just use this up because moving with my collection made me realise how crazy it is and it needs to sorting out. So that's what we're going to do today. But I thought I would take inspiration from Melissa C. She's at Melissa C here on YouTube. She was a Bath and Body Works employee and she has a big huge collection and every season she goes through her like baskets of stuff and pulls out what she wants to use, whatever. And I just thought that's a really good way. So basically what we did was we moved my collection in these baskets i have four of them and then i have this fifth one here it's a different slightly smaller basket i tried to do like shower gels sprays whatever but everything kind of got a little bit mixed up i thought we could sort it into some seasons what i want to use up blah 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 i don't know i just kind of took some inspiration from melissa i think the way she does her videos works really well for her i'm going to do a mix of that style but with my usual project user up so excuse all the angles and everything going on here i was just trying to find <laughs> some floor space to use because my room looks absolutely crazy right now there is stuff everywhere from moving I haven't even got my proper bed frame in yet and this was just the plainest wall and least clutter I could get into the back um, with some natural light out I am going to cut out myself a little filming space but for now this will do I do also start my new job next week so these priorities are all over the place but I just wanted to sit down with you guys and chat for a little while so we'll get into it and we can just figure out what we're going to do with everything really. I've got a haul upcoming as well. I did partake in the recent Scentsy sale. That was a good sale. I picked some stuff up from it, Bath & Body Works. Uh, Facebook declutter and I also picked up some things from Vinted because I had some Vinted money left over that I needed to use. So anyway, ignore all that. Sorry if there's any noise in the background. Sorry this is the longest intro ever. Let's just get on with it. So, this first basket is specifically Bath & Body Works. I think it's shower gels. And then it looks like there's lotions in here down the bottom as well. So basically what I want to do is I want these baskets to be neat. I don't want anything to be on the top. So there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine items on the top here. So I'm thinking I take nine items out to put in my project use up. So they fit nicely in these bins. And these bins are going to go back on my IKEA cube storage, which is currently downstairs for now. So let's just run through. So for some Melody, I think I would ha be happy just to use this up. It's Golden Honey June Bronze Vanilla. I think I'd be happy to use this up this summer. I don't particularly love it. I think I could get some family to help me out with this. So we'll put that in the use it up pile. Juicy Fruity Candy. We've gone past the season for this, so we'll just keep that in here. Winterberry Wonder. Not quite the season. Champagne Toast. I love Champagne Toast, but I recently used the hand soap, so I'm not really in the mood for that one. Denim Daisies. This is definitely a possibility. It is Sweet Daisies, Sun Soaked Denim, and Summer Citrus. We'll pop that in, because that's a good spring vibe. I've got my beautiful day set. I've got two shower gels and a lotion. I don't know. I thought I was ready to use this up this season, but I'm still not ready to let it go. The oldest one's from 2021, so we're not even that old, so I hung on to these for now. Snowflakes and cashmere, we are not in the right season at all. <laughs> uh, Winsbury Wonder lotion, no. Gingham Heart of Gold, could be time for this. But it just gives me, I think it's because of the packaging, it gives me really autumny vibes. But that apple note's really fresh, but maybe not the lotion, we'll keep hold of this for a little while. There's the shower gel, that could be a possibility. Hold that to the side. Snowflakes and cashmere lotion, another Snowflakes and cashmere shower gel, in the star shower gel. No, we've got Peace as Ice Raspberry Bellini. That could be a good spring summer possibility, even though it is from winter. <laughs> a thousand wishes. No, another in the stars. Is it time that I get in the stars moving? Mm, no, not yet. It's too, it's too autumnal for now. A thousand wishes shower gel. Sun blooms and suede. This is fairly new. I'll keep hold of this. Strawberry pancake. Don't. <sighs> No, that is going in the someone in my family can have it. Sunshine Mimosa, it might be time for her. We will hold on to her. Fresh Sparkling Snow, keep hold of her. Into the Night, keep hold of her. 
Sunny Sock and Peach Spritz. I've been using peach recently, it'll keep older hair. I'm not in the mood for more peach. I'm on the Clouds and Sun Bloom and Suede. They are very new to me, we'll hold on to those. Um, my pink pineapple sunrise. No, I'm sorry, until I get another pineapple that is as perfect as this, she stays. Love cotton candy champagne. Ooh, she's sweet. She's strawberry, she's good, she's staying for a little while. A thousand Christmas wishes, honestly, yes. She's kind of springy, but no, she's too deep. She's more autumny, wintry. Midsummer dream. No, I'm still a little bit traumatised from how much I used last year. She'll just have to wait it out. Uh, Pinkberry Clouds. Ooh. She would be perfect combination with Love, but they're too similar to the Whitberry Meringue, which I've been using recently, so we'll save those. Another Winterberry Wonder Shower Gel. And Twinkling Midnight Sky. Ooh. That is a really nice Blackberry. Maybe we'll pop that to the side as well. Okay, I feel like that was pretty good. Sorry about the angles, but we're going to see if they fit into here. For now, I'm just going to put them in any order and just pop them right in. Okay, they don't fit perfectly but they fit better, I suppose. I don't know, we'll leave that for now. The angle keeps changing, but I think we're gonna move on to my scrubs and body butter section because I think we can start building up some routines. So this is kind of like a little shop my stash with me, build up some routines, pick out project use up. It's, it's all going on today. So first off in the top of this basket, I have this, this is my Scentsy Brick. This can go up with my Christmas wax so I can get moving. Hot Mess Express from Onyx Bath House. I think this was the one that had like that warm, yeah, it's like a warm oak scent so that can stay for autumn, more autumn time. I've got a mango body butter open at the minute so that can just wait it out. Breathe, that's more to me of a wintry range. I've got the polish and the lotion so they can stay for now. More body butters. Pear. Are we in the vibe for pear? Oh, I love pear but not yet. Strawberry body butter. I'm not in the mood yet. A back up hem. Another strawberry and a plum. No, I'm just not in the mood for any of these at the minute really. Passion fruit. I decluttered this and then realised it was just getting a bit grimy. Yeah, I'm probably just going to use that up, so we'll throw that into the project. This might be a little bit of a better angle rather than me just showing the camera. Um, but we've got my organ body butter, not in the mood for that. My ritual scrub, not in the mood for that. Hawaii, no. I've got this wild pine, not going to use that yet. This I'm going to give to a family member because my uncle is obsessed with this and I have one left and he might as well have it because as much as I like it, I'm not obsessed with it and I know he is so he's going to be very happy to receive that. We've got peach scrub. I've been using so much peach recently, I'm just not in the mood. Mango scrub. I love the mango scrub but they don't do it anymore, they change the formula, I don't know. I feel like I should just use it though. That's a possibility. Love scrubs, been using those recently, not really in the mood. My tree hook collection, not in the mood to start getting into that. And receipt. <laughs> Two pair scrubs and a plump scrub. No, they're staying. If you want a full collection of all my stuff, you can go watch my recent collection videos. But this is just what's caught my eye while I've been like unpacking and stuff. So okay, that wasn't too successful. We did pick out two, I suppose. We'll have to start building some routines in a minute though. So this miscellaneous basket up. So in here I have my minis. So I have these rituals, which I know one of them is open. I just don't know which one. But if I can figure it out, um, some more rituals, travel stuff. They're really just good for travel, really, so I'll keep hold of those. I've got some trips coming up, and then this little minis basket. I need a hand cream, so I'm going to pull this mango one because I haven't got a hand cream by my bedside table. This is just like minis. I always feel weird about using minis at home because it's like I could just be using these for travel. I don't think there's anything else in here in particular. 
But if I want the mango or the strawberry hand cream for summer. I need a hand cream for my bedside table and I'll just, I don't know, mango's not jumping out on me. Let's go avocado. I like avocado. Yeah. Let's put that for the bedside table. Sorry, this video is all over the place. But that's them technically sorted out. I don't even look sorted out, but I just need to go through it, see what I want to use. There's another one. Another minis one. This has got some mini shower girls in, some so loads of lip balm. I don't need lip balm at the minute, I've got plenty out. Oh my god, you gingham love. And then I'm not going on any trips just yet, so I'm not too worried about my minis. Okay, let's get into this basket. Right, so I have my Sorde Janeiro. I need to haul this actually. So sneak peek, but I'm gonna put that in a little collective haul I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save this for a trip. Um, then I've got hair masks, there's plenty in the shower at the moment, so I do need one of those. This is gonna be a gift, but I can just stay in there for now. This is Jay's, but I can stay in there for now. I don't need a shave cream. Okay, I'm thinking I've got two of these. One of these can go into a summer, use it up. Some little bath accessories, I'm good on those for now. I've got three gingham hand creams. Am I in the mood to use this? They were honestly, they're just going to be gifts, I think, at this point. Yeah, I just don't think I'm an original gingham girly, to be honest. Um, okay, then my holy grail, that will come on holiday with us, but I don't need to pull holiday stuff just yet. So my body shop shower dolls, I just don't think, um, I don't know, I'm ready to part with any yet. Three pair is getting a bit ridiculous. I don't know, maybe, oh, I to pick up this in Berlin. Passion fruit and mango. This could be quite nice to use. I have got the passion fruit from the body shop, but I only have one left and they never really brought it back in like a sale or anything. So maybe we'll pull this one because they're quite similar, but the mango note in this one honestly makes me like, like it a bit less. The pure passion fruit of this, I'm just obsessed with. And that will always stay in my collection, but maybe we'll give this a go. Okay, with this basket, this will have to do for now. Let's put these hand creams on top of here. We'll have to do for now. Okay, this basket is a little bit kind of miscellaneous. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking just using these up. Like, I'm honestly not going to be a Victoria's Secret pink collector. I think I'm just going to use these up, maybe, for now. I do love the Victoria's Secret, like, core line, though. I've got these scrubs, just not ready to use them up just yet. Okay. Soap-wise, I do need to pull some soaps, because this household and this family, I've noticed, just goes through soap like crazy. So, Fresh Bark on Snow, not right season. Winter Citrus Reef, not the right season. Raspberry Tangerine. Could it be time to use a Raspberry Tangerine? Yeah, maybe. She's quite generic, to be honest. Crisp morning air, not yet. This eucalyptus and spearmint. This could be good for the kitchen. I don't know if I ever hold this. Got it in a sale. Yeah, that could be good for the kitchen. We'll keep that one out. Peach Bellini. Let's chill out of berry. This Japanese cherry blossom. Hmm, she is pretty good, but I only have this one left in the creamy look, so hold that for a little minute. Black cherry mellow, I'm hoarding beautiful day, I'm hoarding pink peach blossom, I'm hoarding kitchen mandarin, yeah, she can probably go in the kitchen. Then my three gels, which I'll hold on to for just now. I don't need these just yet. Okay, and then my Victoria's Secret Mist Collection, pure suction the creme, not in the mood. I just don't think I'm really in the mood for any of these. Falling water, what do you smell like? Drew Play, Blue Moss, Mesmerising Moment. Mmm, this could work well with something we pulled earlier. Let's pull it here. This isn't exactly to like use up. It doesn't have to go into a project, but it's just to build up some routines, maybe. Mmm, I think Rush is too autumn-y, wintry. My two beautiful faves, pulled those. And then some more wintry-esque ones. And I've got two body shop ones in here. Pink pepper and lychee and pomegranate red berries. Ugh. Lychee. Just remember lychee and body shop, guys. Trust me. Trust me. I hope. I hope I'm getting trouble for saying that, but I don't work there anymore. So, anyway. Sorted. Let's see if these fit better in here. 
Yes, and then I have my refill pouch. That fits better. Okay, and then this basket is my empties bin. <laughs> no, these products are not empty. It is my empties bin that I need, but we use it to transport my mists. But I need this basket back, so as empty as we can get this, the better, because it means I can have this basket back. So, Dolly and Wisher on the body wash, no. This, spare vanilla, no. We've got this in China Mimosa, let's pull her. Okay. Ooh, Magnolia Charm, she could be a good springy one. Champagne Toast, not quite yet, let's see. When's Candy Apple without the Ghostbusters, just no. Did we pull the Gingham Hot Gold? Yeah, maybe we pull her. This Black Current and Cedar Ward. I think that these are very similar. We already pulled this. The, this one's from 2022, this one's from 2021, so maybe we pull this one instead. Yeah, it does look a little bit dust coloured, not too bad. So, let's pull her and Well, let's just pull them both for now and we'll go through later. We've got a Gingham, a Thousand Christmas, a Thousand Wishes Normal, not yet. In the stars, Winterberry Wonder, no. Another Gingham and Dahlia. Frosted Coconut Snowball, no. Midnight Summer Dream, definitely not yet. Gingham Heart of Gold, I guess, yeah. Probably won't want to use up the mist, but we'll see. Forever Red in the stars, no. Sunshine Mimosa Peach, yeah. Okay, so I've got two Sunshine Mimosas. I would rather think I would rather hoard this packaging because of the orange lid and like this facet is just really boring. I could always just keep it empty, so let's pull that. Got the peach ice raspberry bellini in the cream. Oh my gosh, I did not know that I had this in the cream and the lotion. I did not know that. They're both from 2021. <sighs> my days. The cream looks and seems fine. There's no vanilla in it, and I needed to get more lotions out, so I don't know. We'll just pull both for now. Vanilla be and Noel and Champagne Toast. You're good. This gingham that's like half used, we'll pull that for a room spray. We've got in the stars. Honey Wildflower and Beautiful Day. Love Struck, which is the love spell dupe. I will try and put that with I'll put that with the Victoria's Secrets. Back there, Honey Wildflower. Oh, pink tie-dye on oh my days. Absolute beauty. Just not ready to part with just yet. Okay, we made a bit of a dent. I mean, I'm still going to have to move these products somewhere so they can have the bin for my empties. But we will figure that out. I don't need to do a lot more organisation than this, but for now, these baskets are just going to go back downstairs on the storage unit and just forgotten about for now. You can see, past the pink cowboy hat, up there I've started organising my perfume and my mini sprays. I know for a fact I have a mini spray or two that I've started using and just need to finish up, so I'll pull them for the project, but... I have a lot of products just like sat on the floor right now, so we'll organise them. So I pulled two so so they're fine, they can just go straight into the basket. I have got my trusty project user or basket here. I have this one that I'm gonna gift to a family member who I know loves that so so much. We have the other soap, that's three. I think that's a good number to be honest. Then we have the gingham spray, the tarf use, we'll just use a room spray. That's fine, that doesn't need like a collection or anything. This was what I was thinking would make a good little duo, the Denim and Daisies and Fallen Water. So we'll do that as a duo. The avocado hand cream that I decided on. have a couple of shower gels, I think, somewhere that we were just going to... Yeah, we are just going to throw these in for the fam. So a Melody and a Strawberry Hand Cake. They can just be singles. Okay, I'm thinking we can make this into a routine. Yeah, so we have the Sunshine Mimosa cream, shower gel, spray, and straw mango scrub from the body shop. I think that would be a good little mix. Then we have the passion fruit. We have the Germany, the German <laughs> shower gel, and the body shop passion fruit. I'd probably save these for holiday closer to September and August, but they're pulled now, so they're here. Okay, then we have like oh, quite a few random pieces that we pulled some random lotions. I'm wondering if any of the lotions could maybe go with these guys. The Denim and Daisies, a Sweet Daisy Sunso Denim and Summer Citrus. We have Ice Raspberry Bellini, which was Chilled Prosecco, Sparkling Raspberry and Citrus Twist. I mean, that's obviously gonna bring the raspberry note that this doesn't have. And then the Fallen Water, which is Jupiter and Blue Moss. 
I don't think the pear and raspberry will go with this. So that's going to be a no. These guys, I don't know. See, this is where I get stuck. So I did pull Gingham Heart of Gold in the cream, the body spray, and the lotion. I think it might have to just be a no for now. Although the cream does look a little bit on the tan, which I'm a bit worried about. It could be a nice comfort. Um, sorry, I'm on such a weird angle. It could be a nice comfort and nighttime scent, I suppose. And then I could pair it with Magnolia Charm, which has got the dewy pear blossom in it. I just, I don't know. Maybe just leave hot gold for one more round. Just, we'll just leave it for one round. We get to autumn and she gets pulled. This is the Clementine Zesty Vibes from Pink. I think that could go nice with the passion fruit one we pulled because even though it has this spray, it technically doesn't have like a scent spray. This is more of like a moisturising, like cooling spray. That could be actually the body spray, the scent spray. And then Gumdrop the Bee. I don't think I like Gumdrop the Bee. No, I just, I don't love it. It could go nice with sunshine. Mimosa maybe. Are we pulling too many men? I don't know. Let's just pull it. Let's just pull it for now. And <laughs> we just have these random lotions and mist. Magnolia Charm I might just pull anyway as like a room mist for like with gingham. And I just don't think the only other ones we've got is strawberry pancake and we've got summer melody. I don't think these are gonna go with summer melody or strawberry pancake, unfortunately. I'm debating whether just to pull this. Um, because they're just two, like obviously that's the same scent, a lotion and a cream. That's basically really similar to me, a lotion and a cream. They're basically like backups. I'm not obsessed with either of the scents to feel like I need the backups. I don't know. Someone help me out. What can I do with peach, ice, raspberry, bellini? And what can I do with twinkling night sky and black currant and cedar wood? Because I like them all individually. Like, I do like all the scents. Or could be summer or wintery, and I get same with these. They could be summer or wintery. I just don't go with anything else in my collection. But they are really nice. Help, guys, help. Because I don't want to put them back because they don't fit. But anyway, for now, we've pulled a good old fashioned full basket and even some miscellaneous bits here. I will have another little check through it. I'll have a look at my mini and see what's open there. See what can be used up there. Have a good old think about these guys. Maybe, I don't know. I know I have some generic shower gels that would go with the black currant one. But it's the, re the ice raspberry bellini that I'm really stuck on. I don't know. That's going to be a few for now, guys. That is me organising my baskets. Pulling some project user up. Tidying up my baskets for now as much as I can. Um... Yeah, we need to do a lot more organising and sorting than this. We have got shelves. This room is kicked out with shelves and things that you guys saw my perfumes. They need organising. We need to have a little run through of those. It is in the very beginning of May. And I have time to finish up my spring projects, which only has a couple of items left. Before we do the summer one for June, July, August. Probably into September because I'm going on holiday in September. I would have kept my spring project running until June. But there's no items left in it and the weather is taking a turn for the best. Like the sun is coming out quite a bit. And some of the items I've got in the project, for example, whip brown Rang is not working in this heat. I say heat. English heat. And we just need to change up there. So I'm thinking we'll make the summer project June, July, August into September. We'll leave some summer items because I am going on holiday in September. And the weather is usually quite nice here. And then in October, November, December, even into January... We will do our winter and then from February, February, March, April, May, we will do spring. I don't know. We'll see how it works. The weather's unpredictable to say the least. I also have like a load of these like trays and like organisational trays. Like, I love this one. I think this will be really handy. I don't know. We have a lot of sorting out to do. It's going to be a bit of a play by ear longer process. So we will see. But thank you so much for watching today, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.